Hi, I'm Susie Graham from iSpot. iSpot helps advertisers measure the brand and business impact of TV and streaming advertising from concept to airing to conversion. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about authentic messaging in diverse and inclusive purpose-driven ads. Over the last decade, we've really seen an increase in purpose-driven ads, and consumers have actually come to expect brands to take a stand on relevant cultural topics. The pandemic greatly accelerated this trend, um, as you can see from this chart, right after lockdown started in March of 2020. Um, we really started to see a lot of brands coming out there with messaging that might inspire or motivate and was highly relevant from an empowering perspective. In fact, before the pandemic, only 12.5% of ads were scoring on our empowering metric. And now we're seeing an average of between 20 to 25%. So while we're not going to hit that peak again, likely anytime soon, um, we're really kind of seeing brands accelerate um, and keep that messaging coming. The other thing that was interesting from the last year is that purpose-driven messaging wasn't all about addressing the pandemic. In fact, 71% of the empowering ads in 2020 did not have COVID-specific messaging. As you can expect with things like Black Lives Matter and other um, social justice issues, a lot of the brands were talking about that and taking a stand um, with their consumers. So how do we measure effectiveness when it comes to purpose-driven messaging? iSpot acquired Ace Metrics at the end of 2020. Um, and what Ace Metrics does is we're a video creative effectiveness company that sends out surveys to understand how an ad is performing with consumers. Those consumers are 500 um, US um, general population members. And we've been doing this for 10 years with our video database having over 100,000 ads at this point. The most important question that we ask in our survey is an open-ended one that simply asks the respondents to tell us what did they think about the ad. It is a treasure trove of information and what we've been able to do through natural language processing and machine learning is that we matched verbatims to English language words and phrases and then clustered them in vector space, grouping together things that have common emotional signal. So what that was allowed us to do was to identify 57 emotional reactions to ads. And we used that same methodology to come up with our two scores on our cultural perception measures. Um, those are Empower, uh, that, under, that measures the positive impact that an ad is having from um, inspiring or motivating pers um, perspective. And then our exploit score is kind of the opposite. Uh, it lets brands know, you know, they might be coming across as pandering, um, their me message is missing the mark, um, really kind of negative effect there. Uh, so these measures have really helped us to identify and score purpose-driven messaging, which like we saw has really grown in the last few years. You can see on this chart here, um, we've got the 25 most empowering ads from 2020 through the first quarter of this year that use diverse and inclusive messaging. The topics were really interesting and kind of across the board. We had things along gender equality, racial inequality, people talking about body positivity, addressing the LGBTQ market, um, people with disabilities, and an interesting one is financial inequality. That's something that we really started to see um, you know, grow with the pandemic as people lost their jobs um, and were looking for work. So something that had a lot of relevance in the last year. Um, the messaging went from subtle to very straightforward in terms of how people were, were talking about these topics. So what can we learn from these top ads from the last year? We have a few tips and I think that they they are really important for under, keeping in mind as you think about doing authentic messaging. First of all, you're going to want to walk the walk. A dishonest or disingenuous stance from a brand is always a risk as consumers are very keenly aware and they're ready to call you out with those efforts. Things like if you're gonna talk about um, gender equality, um, you better make sure that if you have products that are female focused, that they're priced similarly to those male, product, male products. Our second tip kind of goes hand in hand with that first one. Your actions speak louder than words, especially when it comes to specific issues. 
In particular, consumers do not want to be told what they are doing wrong. They want to know what a brand is doing to make change a reality. So a, consumers want to know what you as a brand are doing to possibly drive diversity and inclusion in your own um, corporation. They don't want to be lectured about it. They want to know what either they can do to take action or more importantly, what a brand is doing to really make that change a reality. Lastly, having good intentions is not enough for creating an effective ad. You really need to understand how your ad is going to perform um, before you get out there. Putting out a message that might be controversial doesn't mean that you don't put the message out there, but you as a brand should know and understand all of the risks that you're taking in order to really reap the rewards from your, your messaging. And it's very important to keep that authentic message going um, and understanding ahead of time um, is a great way to kind of get that message out there. Three examples of highly effective authentic ads from the last year are here. They come from Indeed, the NFL, and Dick's Sporting Goods. Indeed's Super Bowl ad, The Rising, is a fantastic example of a brand weaving a diverse cast in with an inclusive message, all while relating it to their product. That's kind of um, the thing we're all going after with our ads. This powerful ad tackle, tackled a really relevant subject, job searching, for people of all different financial levels. So Indeed showed off that you can get kind of um, lower income jobs as well as white collar jobs. And they did this all without being in your face or kind of pandering with that message. Um, this ad resonated very highly across the board in terms of demographics um, and really had kind of no detractors in terms of our exploit score. The NFL, who is not without its problems when it comes to um, racial injustice, uh, put its words into action via their $250 million Inspire Change campaign to help combat racial inequality. While this ad was still a bit polarizing, and that kind of comes from the, the fact that it is the NFL, a lot of people found it very empowering. So they talked about what their plan is to help um, fight racial injustice. Um, as well as talking about um, their, their actual plans, showing individual players who are taking a stand on their own. Our last spot here um, comes from Dick Sporting Goods and was really about body positivity. Uh, so Dix had her showing off um, how, she's, how she's working through her own body positivity journey um, by showing Hannah jogging. Um, and despite the fact that this ad was 90 seconds long, it really hooked um, consumers and made them interested in the brand of Dix. So while the messaging and the branding was not overt, we saw them be well over the retail norm in terms of purchase intent um, from this ad, as well as very high brand recognition um, from, from this spot. So it doesn't always mean, it, we want brands to make sure that their messaging is highly authentic, tying it back to what your brand does um, and its core values is very important for getting that authentic message across. As we continue to see um, purpose-driven ads grow in the next few years. We hope that these brands really look deep to make sure that authentic messaging is done right um, by both knowing before they go, uh, testing their ads, but also making sure that they're walking the walk and talking the talk to get those messages out there. Thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it.